right now. Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, thanks a lot, Kim, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. And you can give us a call on the Borders and Borders hotline tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. we got a big show for you tonight. Not only is it big because the Pirates won and we all have bucko fever on this show, <laughs> it's also huge because the Penguins have a big decision to make and the future of high school sports, at least for the fall, are in jeopardy around here in western Pennsylvania and maybe all of Pennsylvania. Uh, but it's another, another reason that it's a big show. We got Andrew Filipponi on the other side over at 93.7 The Fan. Hey, Pony, I know you're on my intro, side. Richie. You're on my side. I know it. And um, I make the switch. Tristan Jari. Don't even question it. Well, you want a Jari in net from the very beginning yes. to start the playoffs. And you talked me into it. Um, look, he checked all the boxes as far as what a goaltender should have going for him as far as, you know, a, a, a spot in net, a starting opportunity. He outplayed Murray in the regular season. Uh, when they came back from the long layoff, he was better in camp by every account. He was better in the scrimmages. He was better in the preseason game. And yet it's come to this, Richie, down 2-1, for him to possibly get an opportunity. Better save percentage than Murray. Just keep going and going. What Matt Murray did in 16 and 17 should not be relevant here. It's about what goaltender gives the Penguins the best chance to win right now, and I believe it's Tristan Jari. And let me add something to that, Pony. Not only was he better this year, but he was better in this recent training camp from what I've seen, my eye test. I'm not a coach, yep. but I was up there watching. We saw their practices. Um, you know, the one thing about Matt Murray, and I know we talked about it a lot, the guy gives up three goals a game. If you could score four goals, you're probably going to win. Uh, but he gave up four goals the last game. You know, I, sometimes I, I feel like these Penguins get too confident, too. But I make the switch. And, and uh, that question was asked to Mike Sullivan today, Pony. I don't know if you heard the interview, but we played a little snippet of it just there at 10 o'clock. And, you know, uh -huh. I, I, he said that there's always a risk in making a change. But there's, he also added, which makes me think he might make the switch, there's also a risk in not making a change. So I, I don't know. Maybe he might actually do it. Well, he should, but I, I have a bad feeling that as far as the goaltender goes, he's going to go down with the SS Murray, that he's believed in that ship. He got on it at a very early time. He trusted Murray with very little experience over Marc-Andre Fleury. And he has two Stanley Cup rings to show for it. And I think that that loyalty, Richie, is going to ultimately cost the Penguins a chance of, of going on a long run in the playoffs. Um, I think if Murray, if, if Jari goes in, just my opinion, I think the Penguins come back and win the series. That's how strongly I feel about him, a guy that was in the top 10 in save percentage this year and is better at going out of the goal crease and playing the puck. If Jari goes in, I believe the Penguins come back and win this series. The only thing that worries me about putting Jari in is nerves. That, that's the only concerning thing for me. Yeah, but you know what, though? I keep hearing people say nerves, rust. Okay, he, 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 he got a training camp and he got into the preseason game and looked fine, so he's not totally cold. And you're going to have... Anytime you have a player that has never been in a situation before, you don't know how they're going to respond. But Tristan Jari, to me, Richie, does not seem like a guy that goes big peaks and valleys and has these big emotional highs and lows. And I think that will benefit him or that will help him out in a situation like this. I think he's a very consistent attitude and mindset guy and I think that'll bode well for him if given the opportunity. All right switching gears before we go to break here I want to get your opinion on high school sports. Um, you know my opinion right now the, the governor just said uh, earlier today that there should be no sports in January until January 2021 and it seems like this is all going to get pushed down. You know the PIAA is having a meeting tomorrow they potentially could cancel all fall sports or they could leave it up to each district and then each district could leave it up to every school. There's all kinds of scenarios 
floating around out there, and tomorrow they'll make a decision. But what's wrong with just pushing everything to the spring? I know it's not convenient, but this is a, this is a weird year. Just play football in March. Play everything in March and just everybody play sports. It'd be bad for the guys that play all three sports, but, you know, just do it. And my other question is, well, I, why do we keep saying January? Are things going to be good? In, do, how do we know everything's going to be great in January? It might be good in November. It might be good in March. Well, I think you want – this is me. I, I would, would try to delay the big number sports with the most athletes participating and the most contact until later in the school year. Um, I would delay that. And plus, with high school sports, to, to Wolf's point, I do agree with them on this. He said, I don't, we don't want a lot of people congregating in one place. In Western PA, high school football is king. People go to high school football games. They don't go to cross-country meets unless they're a parent. They don't, go to, they don't go to baseball games even unless they're a parent. So as far as I'm concerned, golf, high school golf, Richie, you, you're yeah. familiar with that. Those are the sports, I think, that should go off in the fall. Swimming, the ones where you can socially distance people and you don't have big crowds, why do we have to push those sports into 2021? I would flip them. Yeah, I, I agree with you uh, on some of them. Play the sports that you can. Golf, cross country, you don't come into contact with anyone. Um, definitely get those out of the way. But maybe he has a point there. We're pushing football uh, to the spring. But don't cancel it. Just postpone it. All right, I'd love to get your guys' opinions out there. 412-575-2600 is the number. Both of us are back in a couple of minutes, so stay right there.